Welcome to my new series. Let's vote on the name in the comments below. In this series, I'll be inviting friends of mine over to cook a meal that means something to them. It could be something they grew up eating, their favorite comfort meal, or a recreation of their favorite meal they order in. So subscribe if you have not already and let me know who you wanna see on the series next. Hello everyone. Welcome to my new series, Cooking with Kinsey, In the Kitchen with Kinsey. I thought it was gonna be In the Kitchen with Macy. <laughs> Kitchen with like your yes. friend of mine. Yeah. Macy's. Macy's. We can go with whatever you guys want to. Yeah, like whatever you guys think. We're in the kitchen together. Yeah. So let me know. We're still workshopping the name. I hope you guys like oh. the setup. <laughs> Am I gonna get a new kitchen? <laughs> oh, like in the set. This all can be changed. Yes. Okay. So Macy is my first guest. Shocker. I'm really working on having another friend. Like, she had the best chef on for her first episode, and I respect it. Like, you're starting off strong. Everyone after this is gonna actually, you'll see. Macy actually is good in the kitchen, but Macy is good in the kitchen when I want to be. Actually, I could not have said that better myself. Yes. Yes. Like, yeah. yes. Optionally. Today's guest is Macy Thompson, TikTok sensation. Macy is a former Dallas Cowboys cheerleader, currently in the trade portal, lover of Jersey Mike's, also ex of Mike, niece of Abby Lee Miller, Nepo baby, and most importantly, my best friend. Macy is over today making a nostalgic meal that she grew up eating that she has since added to her friend of mine recipe journal. Everyone, welcome Macy to the show. So what will you be cooking for me today? Okay, this is ingredients that you guys all might have in your own homes. I was gonna go crazy and do some gourmet recipes or anything and it's actually kind of a made up not because she can't but because she wants to make it easy for y'all yeah not because I can't yeah it's for you it's for that clear but it's actually a very cute sentimental memory my dad made this like all the time growing up and my dad just makes up words everything and it's called Pene Jean Dodo <laughs> we'll put the spelling up here but my dad told me I can make up the spelling and we'd always be like dad can you make Pene Jean Dodo tonight little did we know it was just elevated buttered noodles but it's with really fresh garlic he simmers it and makes the penne crispy it's like a really good dish it started as a side dish, but we're gonna add in rotisserie chicken. So just picture like, cause it wouldn't be a Macy meal without a rotisserie chicken. Yes, so everything about this is so me, like childhood meal mm -hmm. from my dad mixed with rotisserie chicken, which I Love. have like every single week. Um, but it's really funny cause our shopping list is literally garlic, <laughs> olive oil, penne, parmesan. I called my dad before this and he was walking me through the whole process and he was like getting into it. And so yeah, you might think I know how to make butter noodles, but just know penne jean dodo is so different and you're never gonna have butter noodles the same. The reason I was laughing at you was not because you're making butter noodles, but because it says this recipe is solely based on vibes. That's what I was saying. Like it's kind of unique because it's not one that you have to strictly like like, yes, write it down in your recipe journal yes. from a friend of mine. You can really let the vibes take it away. No, and that's the most important part of a recipe. Like, that needs to be written into every single recipe because every recipe needs a vibe. Exactly, but yes. some families might have like some meatloaf or something like mm -hmm. very exquisite and gourmet, but my family had elevated butter noodles and oh. I crave it every time I go home and your home will smell amazing. Do you have a garlic mixer? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Guys, you're gonna freak and it's like crispy. It's just so good. Okay, we'll get into it. Pene Jean Dodo. I wanna see everyone making Pene Jean Dodo. We're gonna go to Sprouts right now and pick up the ingredients. There's a lot. Oh, Macy, Macy. Yeah? I heard rumors that you're not gonna be on the team next year. Sorry, is it true that you didn't actually try out for the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders? I can't, I can't talk about this. Is it true that they actually kicked you off the team? And Simon Cowell doesn't owe you? I do have one important note about the ingredients that you use for this. My dad likes to clarify good olive oil, good parmesan, good mm. penne. So quality ingredients. We're not just making like no, quality ingredients. They really do make the biggest fit. No. Uh, don't say it about craft. I love craft, but no. we're not making that. Okay, we're just gonna do like a plain rotisserie. Let's do herb seasoned. Yeah, I think the rotisserie is one of the most important parts. Rotisserie is crazy. I'm kind of feeling that one. That feels good to me. But actually, let's get it last so it's still like super hot. We'll come back and shred it. We'll come back. Are you paying? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna get the most. <laughs> Parmesan because I don't really know much about cheese. I just think up the price better. What if we do a mix of two? Awesome, you know, like a uh, Romano and Parm. Yeah, it's Macy's version. Macy's version. You don't go light on any of these degree. It's like we might be using this whole block. Fancy biting you. What are these talking about? Let's do two. I always get way more than I need at the grocery store, which is just explains a lot. Are Macy's tips for the best rotisserie. Okay, we're picking out a rotisserie chicken. It's really which one, like, it got instinct, if I'm being honest. Like, this just felt right. There's different seasoning. I always like to go with the herb 
seasoned one if I'm going for like a more neutral recipe, but to each their own. But honestly, when you know, you know. You know. And when you don't know, you don't know. This is gonna be my own little twist on the recipe. I know it's my dad's recipe, very simple ingredients, but I've always thought that lemon would be good. That was kind of giving Disney Channel. <laughs> always thought that lemon would be good. <laughs> So we're gonna add lemon today. I had to find one that was kind of, do that's good? Yeah, Macy's very particular on the ingredients. She really listened to her dad. Lemon, parm, garlic, like if you put those things. Wow. And a recipe, like I'm there. Like, okay, Gordon Ramsay. I didn't tell you this, but we're also gonna make cheese toast, but not just any cheese toast, also how my dad makes it. Like if you take anything from this video, you'll probably make the cheese toast. Time to elevate our butter doodles. Except there's not even butter. Why do I keep saying that? Okay, so Macy, what are you up to? First step is shredding chicken right when you get home. Well, wash your hands, then shred the ch chicken. Um, because you want to do it when it's hot and tender. And I'm being selective with like only good breast meat. Like you want mm -hmm. to make sure every bite is a good bite. But we're just doing our typical shredding of the rotisserie chicken. Okay, we got our cute little drinks. So now we have to go make them before we cook. Okay, guys, okay, so let's go to the hosting closet for for our wine glasses. Dude. Your garage looks clean. Oh, I can hear today. Oh, the wrapping station always gets in the way. Okay. I hate when my wrapping station in my hosting That's closet gets in the way. I hate, hate that. What glasses should we use? Oh, I'm kind of feeling pink. I was too. Perfect. Okay, perfect. Here we go. I never like to actually drink wine when I'm cooking, like on a weekday, but like kombucha and a wine glass is the vibe. Look at how cute that looks. That, that looks really, so, so perfect. Good. Maybe your cookbook will be there one day. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Just a full book on Panay Jean Dodo. Yes. We're gonna get aprons. Well, it looks like we only have one option. <laughs> so here we go. You get the vibe. Yeah. garlic to the pan and we're gonna simmer it very low very slow it's gonna be on the lowest heat and my dad did measure out how much olive oil he did and he said one third of a cup like we're not going light with any of this oh my gosh it's low-key a lot she's using brightland because i i love graza but i feel like this brightland's is, probably a higher quality yeah well because you know graza has the sizzle and then also the, mm -hmm. the two different ones okay so we're gonna add Ooh. one third of a cup Nice. Of olive oil. Now that I think about it, that's a lot, but like this is really our sauce, you know? This totally. Is like a, yes. Totally. Don't apologize. I know, I need to get better at that. Okay. <laughs> this is gonna turn into therapy well. I'm like really like, I don't know if this is okay. It's definitely like an ongoing thing in our family that my grandma's grandma, whenever she would cook anything, she'd be like, now I don't know if this is fit to eat. <laughs> like, I don't know if it's okay. And my grandma does that, I do that. Like, I just need to have more confidence, you know? I should have mentioned that this garlic vintage oh. sauce. Okay, I just need a little butter knife to this. Right, I'm literally so sore right now, guys. I can barely move. No, yeah, we worked out yesterday and we were so sore. And I also went on a run that's this week. Insane. And I'm not, I don't actually think that's why I'm sore. I think it's from oil day, but. Oh, wait, I could be blood in the water. It's a lot of moving parts. We have to preheat the oven really early because it's so slow. We're also gonna put it on broil, so that's like the highest setting. But also key here, fresh minced garlic. We're not doing any of that store-bought minced garlic, and I'm speaking to myself because I always buy that. We're gonna put it in a little, cute little jar and expect me to not buy it. <laughs> well, I don't, I hate garlic. Like it sticks to you, it's such a pain, oh, yeah. it's whatever. Like I will, I don't hate the taste of it. I was like, I hate, oh, no. you're not gonna like this. No, 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 no. <laughs> I actually hate garlic and you know, no, I hate like, Oh, guys, for some reason scaring me. I feel like I'm being overstimulated like you. Happens to the best of us. The egg rolls in it? No, okay, well here's the issue about egg rolls and me at Chili's is that I ate them so much growing up that I just like can't eat them anymore. Yeah. Like I love them. Their shrimp fajitas are so good. Okay, just to sum things up, third of a cup of olive oil, six cloves of garlic, simmering on very low, and we just started boiling the water for the pasta. And with the pasta, we're gonna cook it for one minute less than it says because the goal here is get, to get the panay like super crispy. It's gonna be like crispy panay. You don't want it to be like a mushy, gushy, like soft. Got it. Not, not like a vodka pasta. Not This is no Haley Bieber vodka pasta. This is a crispy. I think it's Gigi Hadid vodka pasta. Oh, it's Haley Bieber? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're all the same. <laughs> and then I just got, guys, oh, it's so Mackenzie cute. Childs. Came out with like the rose dust, whatever this one is. Rose quartz. Rose whatever. Yeah. And I got all new stuff and it's so cute. So anyways, 
My college roommate's older sister was a mom blogger. It was a blogger, so she always had Mackenzie Childs, so our college house was decked out with Mackenzie Childs. You guys are rich. No, I know. Or I was. <laughs> I was back in the day. I just toasted the bread, I'm not gonna lie. Like, that's a good toast, but we're gonna put it under the broiler so it gets a little toastier, so if it were up to me, like it was, I just messed it up, I would do it a little bit less crisp. Like, <laughs> if it were up to me? <laughs> like, I know I just did it, but we're just buttering some sourdough oak toast right now. Perfect. This is for the cheese toast aspect, if I didn't, <laughs> if you needed some clarification. Um, I wish that I had started my sourdough starter kit. Oh my gosh. That thing is journey. So imagine if it was a collab with my sourdough. Oh my gosh. No, but this cheese toast, my dad, like, I still have it every single time I go home. It's just so good, and my dad does it amazing. But we're really just using key ingredients in all these. Butter, bread, noodles. Like we're not gonna make you break the bank for quality food. I'm just buttering some sourdough, getting it nice and buttery. And then I just cut up some Swiss cheese, nice and thin, and we're gonna lay it on. This is much better than pre-sliced. Just fresher? Yeah, truly. I like to really get an exact area. Oh, can't she's see getting it. quite precise. <laughs> this one's a little too thick. It's looking good. No, I think it's perfect. Okay, wait, one more. Stay there. One last little slice. I'm not used to being your sous chef. I know. Okay, we're just gonna keep this here until we put it in the oven to broil. Now we're gonna drain the pasta. And again, we did this for one minute less than I was supposed to. And once we drain it, we're gonna rinse it in some cold water because we want it to be nice and firm. Get it with cool water. And now we're not gonna put all of it in the pan. You'll see, we want it just like however much we can fit in the pan. Temperature all the way up. We're gonna get it nice and crisp now. Dang it, I was supposed to put it in a really hot pan. It's okay. It's okay. So it was simmering, now we got it high, and we're gonna start. Do you have a cheese grater? Mm hmm. I have plenty of them. Here's one. Okay. This is what we wanna be hearing. Why do I feel so uncoordinated? I think that's just the way you're putting the cheese is like a safety hazard. <laughs> like, I know. Like, hold it like this. You can do this part, but I was just trying to see if it would break off. Oh, we, should, we could cut a smaller block. Okay. Oh. You can also buy pre-graded. I'm in the mood to read like a hockey smut novel. Like like one of those like corny. Yeah. Like, oh. oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, Macy had to take over. Because don't do the big triangle. <laughs> we're just we're just eager to get started. Yes. Yeah. Go, 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 go slowly, and I'll tell you when to stop. Oh, we're <laughs> adding the rotisserie. Have you always called it rotisserie? Is that like TikTok or Grayson Cutler on TikTok? Oh. Like have you ever put chicken in this before? Yeah. And you know, it originated as a side dish, but to make it a meal, you just gotta add some protein. Oh, it smells like my childhood home. Oh. Just when you think you've added enough cheese, you have it. We're just adding the cheese toast that you guys saw into the oven on the broiler. And you can kind of keep the oven open a little because it's it really hot. Guys, look at this so far. Garlicky, parmesan -y. This is Macy's version. Wow. Oh! Toast is ready. Wow. This smells really good, Macy. Oh, I, I see how the noodles are getting crispy. Yeah. yeah. Your dad's gonna be so proud of you. Do you feel like you're back in sun in Santa Clarita? I actually do. Did you have a computer room growing up? No, you were too um, young for that. No, we just didn't have an extra room. <laughs> Laptops existed. Yeah, they did. Mm -hmm. How old were you when you got one? A laptop? Yeah, it was seventh grade. Um, I used to go with my dad, and I would. This is back when like Starbucks you had to pay for the Wi-Fi. Yeah. You probably didn't, weren't alive for this part, but I had a little green. What is it called? Like a. Basically like a bracelet kind of vibe, right? Yeah. But it had my Starbucks Wi-Fi card on it. Yeah. And I would go and I'd bring this laptop. It was like a 
black like Dell kind of laptop. Yeah. And I would sit there and I'd work next to my dad because I was always with mom. Yeah. And then we would go to the meetings. I would go and I would like bring my laptop and ask like I was like working. That's so cute. I know, really cute. Uh, my dad said, <laughs> now you're talking cooking with gas. Yeah. Parmesan, Parmesan, Parmesan. <laughs> He wants more farm. He wants more farm. He thinks it's not enough. Like earlier, I was like, no, I really just like garlic. It's, I was like, okay. <laughs> it's literally the whole roast. My sister like doesn't like onion, like Maddie. Yeah. And she's like convinced that she hates it and never eats it. And we're always like, I don't know how to tell you this, but it's literally the basis of like almost every single recipe. Like yeah. everything that you would have onion in it. Yeah. But she like won't believe it because she doesn't cook. That used to be with tomato. Oh yeah, I tomato stuff. Was it a texture thing? Yeah, it's not like biting in and like having it juicy, but I realized I actually love the taste of tomato. Mm -hmm. Wow, Macy, it looks so good. All about elevating your everyday After occasions. Movie. It looks incredible. If your arm isn't sore from the farm, like I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> you did it wrong. <laughs> Okay, so Macy said to slice these into really small pieces. Also, it usually Love that. boils better, but... My yeah. oven sucks. Like, my oven is seriously the worst. Okay, I won't be hard on myself. Yeah, it's my oven. Alright, alright, alright. Dinner is served. Well, um, should we write our cooking experience today? Yeah. It was a little bit weird being your sous chef. Sous chef, you know what I meant? Yeah. How did you feel like being the boss? I liked it. Well, it was such an easy recipe. Like, if it was anything else, I would have definitely needed more. Macy, this series is about it being a nostalgic recipe. It doesn't need to be. I know, but I'm just saying, if it was harder, it would have felt like I would. you would have been more involved. You would have been a little more stressed. Yeah. Like, Got like it. this. Oh, wait. Let me do first season. First bites ever. Everyone knows the rules. Wait, that's so much garlic salt in that. Okay, well, I like garlic salt. Okay. It's really good. Mm hmm. Highly recommend. In hindsight, Sargento Swiss cheese would have been great. You gotta get a crispy. No, that one right there. Like a good crispy bite of penne. It's really good. Really? Mm hmm. Missy, you've killed this. I'm gonna say something crazy. Oh no. We did six cloves of garlic. I could have done the entire thing. Like, yeah. Like, never be afraid of too much garlic or parms. Just keep adding it on. You know? Okay. Um, do you want to leave the listeners, or no, the viewers, with any sort of something positive for their day? Yeah. Any meal. Uh, where was I going with this? <coughs> Don't be I got afraid <coughs> to make up names. <coughs> Waste no bite. Love that. <laughs> That's how you live. That's how I. Yes, everything I eat, like, if it's gonna be butter noodles, it's gonna be garlic. The best butter noodles you've ever, ever had in life. Like, make everything amazing. I don't like to go to any restaurant without knowing what I'm gonna get. So I wanna have, like, I wanna savor every bite. So just yeah. make the most of every meal. We'll go to Chick fil A and she'll get every single condiment and then she'll feed me the different ones with the wraps and certain things and blah, blah, blah. Like, she's mm -hmm. very specific about her orders. I've been telling Macy for the longest time, like, she needs to be like, a food consultant because she has the best orders everywhere. And it's because I'm lazy and Macy is smart. <laughs> That's what it is. Macy just like has good taste in food. Like you just like know what to get. That means you know? a lot. Yeah. Like you'd be a good, like I'm not really like a girl who can like, I'm not like making my own recipes. You are like making your own recipes. Wow. You know, we should collaborate. Yeah. Let's do it. I cook, you make the recipes. Perfect. There we go. Just like give me some ingredients and I'll like whip it up. Yes. Okay, so subscribe if you are new here. Let me know who you guys want next on in the series. I'm willing to travel. So oh. you guys keep me posted on what you guys think. And if you guys recreate this meal, be sure to tag us, please. Please do. It's gonna be the it's gonna be the easiest one to recreate. Macy, I'm, like, it's not. I'm like getting competitive with the other guests. I'm like, what are you gonna make? No, like every time you're like around the corner, like watching. Uh-huh. But you like there's like all of a sudden there's like mechanical issues, electric mm -hmm. issues, like there's nothing, the mm -hmm. oven's broken. There's just like so you just Yeah. Watch out. That's what's gonna happen. So Anyways, love y'all. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. So you really need to understand root causes of anything if you want long-term solutions. Okay, let's go to the root causes.
Can you explain those and all the acne triggers that you guys have like figured out? The great one to start with is pore clogging ingredients because you can be doing all the internal work and working to figure out anything, everything. You can be paying for lab work, gut tests, you name it. And you can be eating the cleanest of clean diet. But if you're still using products topically that have pore cloggers, you still will break out. 